and welcome everybody to this make code python coding activity in minecraft education edition my name is pelly i work for make code in microsoft and nell oh yeah is our, nell. is our pythonista all right now uh let's get started uh let's go back to the home screen we're here in minecraft education edition just had the demo going uh, so we're gonna go back to the home screen. You'll find Minecraft Education Edition. Oh, you know what? We we messed up our green screen. <laughs> go ahead, let's go ahead and fix that. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. There's a bit of hair. All right, so we are in Minecraft Education Edition. It's a special version of Minecraft. You can play it with your school account if you're using Office 365 at school. Uh, so just sign in with your student account. And if it doesn't work, there's information in the YouTube movie on how to get that going. And without further ado, uh, we're gonna try to do some coding today in Python. Block of grass, let's play it. Uh, Minecraft Education can also play with your friends, with your teammates from school. It's loading the game right now for us. We just created a flat world, which in many cases, it's a bit easier when you start you start going. And hi, Jacqueline, I just logged into the chat. All right, and it's a green world. We know this world. And now we're gonna be doing Python today. So to get into the make code editor, you're gonna be doing, let's move it to the other side. You can, uh, there's the Nikon there, there we go. And we're going to get out and save. Yeah. So if you start the first time in uh, coding, you'll see this dialog, and then you select make code. Uh, let's see. I want to do. And we're going to be doing Python today. So we're looking for the tutorials, and we haven't done fast forward, which is Can't one of our tutorial. <laughs> we're going to be playing with time. So if you click on the tutorial, we'll select which language you want to do. And today we're doing Python coding. It's going to be super fun. All right, so what does this one do again? Nobody can stop the pace of time. In this tutorial, though, you will make time go faster than normal. Okay. I want to stop it. You can stop it, right? You could kind of go backwards. You could make it slow. You could it's make slow. it slow. You can add and remove ticks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can can do things. And we are here in the Python tutorial. How about we zoom in a bit? And we're also learning how to type in these code editors. So we're gonna change the gameplay settings by adding a thousand ticks to the current time. So every 20 minutes, Minecraft spends 20,000 ticks, 24,000 ticks, when we're adding thousand tick just like that all right now let's okay. try it let's the try thing it. what yeah it's on start and it happened <laughs> you know let's look at the sun where's the sun find the sun okay go back to the code and hit gun go oh uh -huh. yeah it moved <laughs> that's cool that was small yeah it usually doesn't move that fast Run the program uh, to test the time wrap. It is time isn't changing. Make sure always day option isn't turned on. Right. So if you are in your settings in your world and you've turned on always day, or if the nothing's happening, make sure that flag is off. Use a loop to the <laughs> use a for loop to the loops times twelve it to see the repeat increase. Loopy loop twelve times. Okay, let's see. That's a lot of looping. Loops. Yeah, loop, the four is a loop. It's a loop, we call it a loop because it repeats code. Where like do we your, put the loop? Uh, how about we put it there and then we're gonna move the line above. To move the line above, there's many ways to do it. So you can drag it out. Uh, do we do it? And drop it there. And now we fix, we fix our thing before Mr. Squiggle gets annoyed at us. Uh, Mr. Squill is happy. 
Right. 13. All right, we go. Lucky. Let's see what happens. Uh, look at this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What that happened? That was fast. What happened? Did you see this? Well, we, we're night in night now. Let's go back. Let's run again. We should go back today. We're basically running. Woo! I want to go to the sun. That's later. All right. Okay. Oh, use a loop uh, uh, by adding 12 times to 100 ticks. You will advance the time by which is half. <laughs> we repeated time add 12 times. Yeah. Well, 13 times. That's half a day. It's half a day and more. Because you did 13 instead of 12. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, that's it. Uh, we're going to change that program. <laughs> All right, let's click finish. It can't be that short. <laughs> yeah, it's that short. That's what it did. It kind of moved times forward. So if you're in a tutorial and you click finish, you're going to get access to all the blocks. And so the toolbox on the side helps you kind of coding. So what I wanted to do was the same as block where the player walks, the time changes. Okay. And I can use a toolbox for that. I think if I look on... When the current player travels in a certain way. All right, and yeah. Yeah, there's a spot there. All right, so on travel, walk, travel, that's so Let's try good. It. And nothing's happening. I know. I know why. We glitched. No. Because this is here. Ah, and this has to go in here. Exactly. Great, uh, great debugging. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, you want to select it from one end, not from the middle. Okay, so, never mind. Go select everything. Eh. Oh, too much. Huh. There you go. And grab it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Try again. Eventually, the clipboard is actually way easier to use than drag and drop. There we go. Now we're going to have a problem that our indentation has been messed up and Mr. Squiggle is like, no, no, no. What's the problem? Well, you remember the blocks, the, the, the four has a mouth? Mm -hmm. It's the same in Python. Imagine there's a mouth here. What's going to run under the for loop is everything that's indented once. So this is a, see how it's the same level as this? Mm -hmm. You need to move it forward. I do? Yeah. See, so you get this nice little line there. <gasps> okay. All right. So we tab it once, and Mr. Squiggle is gone. And this is really, you know, if you look at the blocks, let's go to the blocks. If you think about this repeat loop, it has this mouth here. See how it's indented? Mm -hmm. We're going to zoom that. Ooh, mega zoom. Indentation here. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea in Python. You have this indentation here. Imagine it's just the mouth of your of your loop. Okay. All right. Let's try this. Yeah, because I'm I'm scared of night. You have to be walking. Oh yeah. You know maybe we don't need the for loop. <laughs> well, I'm oh, not moving. Oh, it's like you're what? I'm not moving. Yeah, well you do it thirteen times. Okay, let's only do it once. Yeah. That means we don't need the for loop. That means we don't need a for loop. So let's change our code. We can, yeah, we can backspace the whole thing. <clears throat> now, you really want to, this is where you want to be always cleaning up. If Because I removed the loop, I don't need two, I don't need two lines here. See that little line here? Mm. How about we exit out? Oh. There we go. Yeah, Mr. Quiggle is happy. And now we're just going to move one per per step. In fact, let's. Yeah. I want the sunset. Yeah. I want to walk backwards. What will happen? Oh, you always move forward. And this is this mod is just about controlling time. Which we can do with an API. 
But to recap, we've done a very simple mod here, and we're using the traveled event and oh. doing time mad. More simple than I thought. That's kind of the story for the day. Oh wait, I want to try something else. What are you gonna do? I wanna, I wanna spawn. Are you gonna spawn some things? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the player say something. Oh, that's great. He's just gonna be happy. So where do you want to do that? In the travel, whenever he walks? Yes. Okay. So you wanna, yeah, wanna add it after time add. So? Here, there you go. Yay. Yay. Yeah, the player can say tons of things. Yay. This is fun. All right. Let's, Let's take try a look it. at that. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. Yes. And this is a great way to actually see that your code is running because <laughs> you can actually see it on the on the screen. Right now, I think we're done with this tutorial, yeah. so we can leave to the, the home screen. Uh. And this is going to be a short day for us, so we're going to call it a day. We are? Oh, you want to do more coding? No. But have we done Spleef? Oh no, we need a Zilly. Well, yeah, we need a player for the Spleef. We still need a Mule and Elliot and Zilly. We could do the Agent. Uh. Sansom, you've done all these. But uh, today was was supposed to be a short, mm, short stream. Yeah. yeah. Well. All right, and thank you, everybody, and see you in another episode of Make Code Python for Minecraft Education Edition.